to my YouTube channel. This is the fourth part of the topic, physical quantities. Today we'll be discussing the third application of dimension. I'm Wachiko Daniel. Please endeavor to click the, the uh, subscribe button and like the video. Also, turn on your notification button to see the next videos that will come up. Also, see the description box below to see the links to the previous videos we have. Back to the topic. Third application of dimension. Another third application of dimension, it is used to drive a relationship between or among physical quantities. What do we mean? I repeat, it is used to drive the relationship, the connection, the law connecting two or more physical quantities. Let's see what we mean with the question we have on the board. The energy E of a particle having mass m Velocity V and acceleration G is empirically given as E equal to K M raised to power of X, G raised to power of Y, and V raised to power of Z. Where K is dimensionless constant. What is the actual formula for E? To solve this, you write E equal to K M X G Y V Z. Since they say that this k is dimensionless, constant, we cancel it, making life easy for us. This e is called energy. We have to get the dimension of energy. energy. Then, this is mass. For this energy, it is, it has the formula force times distance. Then, what is the dimension of force? We say it is the formula for force is mass times acceleration times distance. What is the dimension of mass? We say m. Dimension of acceleration l t minus two. Dimension of distance l. So we'll be having dimension of energy to be m. L raised power of 2, T raised power of minus 2. Then, what is the dimension of the mass? We say M is X, M equal to M for mass. Dimension is capital M. Dimension of G equals to acceleration, that is LT minus 1. LT minus 2, please. Dimension of uh, velocity V equals to L over T or L T minus 1. Now, we carry these parameters and put it here. We say E is M L square T minus 2 equals to M is capital M raised to the power of X. G is L T raised to the power of minus 2 raised to the power of Y. V is L T raised to the power minus 1 raised to the power of Z. Now we expand. We have M raised to the power of X, L raised to the power of Y. This will come inside. This will come inside raised to the power minus 2 Y. L raised to the power of Z. T raised to the power of minus Z. That is equal to M L squared T raised to the power minus 2. Now, collect like terms, we will be having a raised power of x, a raised power of y plus z, because there are two L here, y plus z, t raised power of minus 2, y minus z, because we have t raised power of minus 2, and t raised power of minus z. So, collecting the two, it will be minus 2, y minus z. You say it's equal to m, l squared, t raised power of minus 2. This tells you that compare this M to this, we have 
m raised power 1 equal to m raised power of x. Compare also l square to this l. Why are we comparing it that way? If the bases are equal, the power must be equal. The power of this m is 1. Power of this m is 2. Power of this t is minus 2. Then these are the powers of this. And from the powers, we can get the values of x, y, and z. Then compare the, this t and this. We'll be having t raised power of minus 2 equals to t raised power of minus 2 y minus z. So, here we say, since the base are equal, the power must be equal. S equal to 1. Here we say, 2, the base equal to base, power must be equal. 2 equal to y plus z. Then, here the base equal to base, power equal to power. You say, minus 2 equal to minus 2 y minus z. Now, we have gotten the value of x, but the values of y and z, they are to be gotten simultaneously. Using simultaneous equation, you write y plus z equal to 2. That is the first equation. Minus 2y minus z equals to minus 2. You can see that z and z, they are different by, they differ by plus and minus. So, what you say is you add to eliminate z. y minus 2y will give you minus y. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. You say equation 1 plus equation 2 will give you y minus 2y, you have minus y. z plus times minus minus z minus z will give you 0. 2 plus times minus minus 2 minus 2, 0. Therefore, y equal to 0. Then, we come again. What of z? We can say when y equal to 0, in equation 1, z will be what? Carry y equal to 0, put in equation 1, you have 0 plus z equal to 2. Therefore, z equal to 2. This implies that your x is equal to 1, your y is equal to 0, and your z is equal to 2. You have gotten the value of x, y, and z. With that, what you now do is that you put them in the formula. It will imply that E is equal to K. What is X? X is 1. What is Y? 0. So G raised to the power of 0 will be 0. We forget about G. V is equal to 2. So therefore, we have it as E equal to K M V squared. That is the formula connecting the E, the L, the G, and the V. Thanks for watching the video.